On February 21st of 2015, Mo Farah from Great Britain broke the indoor two-mile world record with a performance of 8 minutes, 3.40 seconds. This time took down the previous mark of none other than Kenanisa Bekele, whose previous world record stood at 8 minutes, 4.35 seconds, showcasing that getting close to 8 minutes indoors is next to impossible. This world record has now stood for almost an entire decade, but recently, the breaking news from Great Britain is that none other than Josh Kerr would attempt to break this world record in the 2024 Milrose Games, and even though many had doubts about his abilities to compete in events longer than the 1500 meters, he just shut them up. Because what Josh Kerr just did is honestly shocking. This is one of the greatest performances that we have seen in 2024. In the 2024 Milrose Games in Upper Manhattan, Josh Kerr jumped into this two-mile event as one of the heavy hitters. However, he would also have to compete with many other great athletes, such as Grant Fisher, Cole Hawker, Jordy Beamish, and Morgan McDonald. This was a star-studded lineup, and it was a very real possibility that national records could be set for many athletes, but could the world record actually be broken? Now, to break this world record, these athletes would have to average right at 60 seconds for every single 400 meters, so just slightly over one minute of your standard track, which means right over 30 seconds for the indoor 200 meters. This is certainly very quick, and over the opening couple of laps, it looked as though these athletes might have gone out too slow. Through the opening mile, it was Josh Kerr, Grant Fisher, and Cole Hawker hanging very close to the lead, splitting through the opening mile in 4 minutes, 3.37 seconds. Now looking back at this split, this was pretty problematic, because these athletes would now have to run 4 minutes flat or slightly faster over the closing mile in order to break the record, and even though this was a pretty demanding thing to do, especially in February, Josh Kerr took this challenge very seriously and absolutely destroyed it. With an absolutely epic surge, Josh Kerr took the lead and never looked back. And with the final quarter mile in 56.97 seconds, Bruh. Josh Kerr just broke the indoor world record in the two mile distance with a time of eight minutes flat, 0.67 seconds. Just look at these quarter mile splits. This is honestly amazing and it really does showcase Josh Kerr's strength on top of his obvious ability to kick. Now through the opening mile, he never ran under one minute, which looking back on it did give him the ability to kick slightly faster. But with a final quarter mile under 57 seconds, while looking quite relaxed, this paints a huge picture of what Josh Kerr is capable of in 2024. And honestly, I think this was the perfect performance to put fear into Jakob Ingebrigtsen. We all remember last year in the World Championships when Josh Kerr took down Jakob, and since then it has been a pretty rocky back and forth between the two, with Jakob saying one thing and Kerr saying another thing. But this indoor world record really puts a number out there that showcases Josh Kerr's abilities. And for anyone that doubted him, this really does have to put his speed and strength up there with the best in the world. Now, finishing very closely in second was Grant Fisher, who ran a time of 8 minutes 3.62 seconds, which actually breaks the American record for the indoor 2 mile by about 4 seconds. Following close behind Fisher was also Cole Hawker in 8 minutes 5.70 seconds, and following close behind him was Jordy Beamish, again breaking another national record for New Zealand in 805.73. Now, we also need to showcase Morgan McDonald, who broke another national record in 812, and we also need to showcase Kita Sato from Japan who broke another national record in 814.71. This two-mile race was a huge showcase of the talent that is getting ready to put their best efforts on the line for this year's Olympic Games. And when it comes to the 1500, I think Josh Kerr just made a serious bid as potentially the favorite. Many people still do have Jakob in that position, which is fair, he's run very well over the past few seasons. But Josh Kerr's 8 flat for the indoor two-mile is honestly quite remarkable. It's interesting to showcase that during last year's outdoor season, Yaka broke the outdoor two-mile world record, running 7.54 and shocking the world. But I honestly do feel that this indoor performance is just as incredible, because running this fast indoors is not easy, and to break the world's record that Mo Farah previously held is honestly legendary. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.